Students uh, lose about two months of their school year learning when they don't have summer learning opportunities. As an adolescent during the summertime, it was pretty hard because like either you were in summer school or you weren't doing anything. There weren't too many like enrichment programs uh, that I was, I guess, eligible for. Throughout the summer, when you're not doing any cognitive learning, you your mind becomes idle in many respects, and you lose a lot of the information that you learn throughout the year. You know, like when you get back, you know, during the, like, the actual school year, it's just like, oh, I'm back. So you have like a poor attitude towards learning. Basically, summer school was looked at as something you went to if you didn't succeed in school. Half of the achievement gap in our country can be attributed to unequal summer learning opportunities. Students who did what I did when I was a child and went to sports camps, and while those are great for social growth, you really don't remember anything about math or English. Um, and as a future educator, uh, my uh, connotation of summer school has completely changed. Um, and doing any sort of educational thing over the summer, um, you know, it's, it's a place to keep using your brain. Don't let all that information go that, you know, you've learned over the school year. As a first-time summer teacher this summer at Ward 1, I am really looking forward to the opportunity to get to know our scholars really deeply and help catapult them forward. When I was in middle school, I actually do wish I had something such as this. It provides guidance and it actually seems as though it'll prepare the students well beyond the year of the, the school that they're in. We make sure that our scholars don't lose their learning but actually gain more learning through the summer and so that they can be prepared for success in middle school, high school, and beyond. Middle school is when our view of the world is changing and therefore more dynamic. If there's any point in our lives where we are ready for rigor, middle school is it. Higher achievement is not just giving you students to teach. It is giving you over 800 lives, 800 stories that we are entrusting to your care for six weeks. At the end of which, we expect not conclusions, but beginnings. I hope that this process allows you to discover the talents hidden and exposed everywhere in the cities that you will be returning to. I want you guys to know that like before you get there, it's going to be what you make it. So in the six weeks, yes, you're going to have mornings where you're tired and you don't want to get up and you don't want to be there. And, you know, just always keep in mind that not only are you doing this for yourself for that accomplished feeling, but this is an opportunity and experience that is so incredibly unique for these students. And it's something that will essentially help them develop and become, you know, the people that they're going to be. So on those days that you're tired, just kind of channel that energy, remember the bigger goal. And, you know, it's just like better than a cup of coffee. It's better than anything else. Just keep that insight, goal in sight, and uh, we're going to have a great summer. So that's Summer Academy in short.